What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Then, thanks everybody for all the love and support. We're at 12,390 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very, very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate, but you can choose to do it through my pay PayPal. Thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Mercury retrograde has got me like, whoa, we're in the shadow phase right now. It doesn't officially start till May 10th, but it's got my speech like, whoa, so I apologize like that. Just saying. So, but thanks so much for the love and support. I really, really do. It helps support a single mama, one of her income streams, single mama, two kids. So I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was, I was sleeping, then I got up, and I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes or so. Then I received a channel message, um, and y'all know I don't mind doing them for y'all. So um, I think, I'm thinking about opening personal readings tomorrow. If I officially do it, I'll make a video. I just want to tell everybody and let y'all know, but um, I haven't officially decided yet, but I think I may do it tomorrow. Um, me and my own are just chillaxing, so I might. We'll see. Um, anyways, I just want to tell you all that too, but so yeah, so I received a channel message, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody is doing well on this Friday, well, Saturday morning, May 7th of 2022. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, a particular healthcare company has instituted a strict no fraternization policy. Um, another healthcare, um, I heard large, large healthcare company has instituted a fr no fraternization policy. Upcoming, another particular healthcare company is about to institute a no, a no fraternization policy soon, upcoming soon in the universe. It is about to create uproar um, for many, um, many employees in a particular community, and it's about to expose a false marriage of past. Um, masculine energy that put a feminine energy in a false marriage of the past. This person will end up in prison through many series of chain of events. That's what I heard. That's pretty damn serious. Um, that's pretty, pretty, pretty serious. So, um, you plug it in however that resonates. Um, however that resonates. Someone very, 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 very important is about to get wind of this. It's about to create very negative series of chain of events for this masculine energy and others that stole money from a feminine energy. Okay, I heard it's um, someone very, 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 very important is about to get wind of this. So you might watch my channel or you might get wind of it in 3D, in 3D everyday world. However, that resonates for you. Very, 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 very important person, whoever you are and how that resonates. But it sounds like once you get wind of it, very, 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 very important person, it's, um, I think you're going to help put this person in prison, this masculine energy. It sounds like two people has work at a healthcare company or they work at a healthcare company in the past. Um, it sounds like one of them has moved on, but a masculine energy put a feminine energy. It sounds like in a false marriage. Um, it sounds like they both work in, work in healthcare, but it's been... It's created such drama and such craziness in the universe that it has implemented. It caused the company, one of the companies, to implement a no fraternization policy, and it's it's causing another one to implement it. Is what it it's, it sounded like to me through the channel messages. I could be wrong on that, but you plug it in how it resonates. Now I looked up no fraternization policy. I had a loose understanding of what it was. I don't fraternize. Fraterner fraternize. I, laugh. I don't fraternize with people outside my company when I work at a company. I just don't. I don't do it. I don't hang out with co-workers outside of work. I don't date co-workers. Um, period. Period. Point blank. Last time I dated a co-worker, I was 18 freaking years old. I'm 38 now. I've lived and I've learned a long freaking time ago. So I don't do it. But for anybody that is not um, familiar with the no fraternization policy. And when I worked at the jail here in Huntsville, they had the same exact policy. I just want to say they had the same exact policy. So, I mean, I agree with it. I agree with it. Even though people that work inside my jail that work for this company that I worked at in this company, 
when I worked at the jail, they fried knives outside of work. They broke the rules, but I didn't because I believe in it. And that's the truth. Okay, so no fraternization policy. In response to the ever-increasing threat of employee lawsuits, many companies have instituted no fraternization policies, sometimes known as no dating policies. These policies limit or prohibit consensual intimate relationships such as dating between employees. Also, it, fraternization is an inter interaction between coworkers that extends beyond business relationships. Um, so no fraternization policy, basically, in my opinion, from reading this is um, no dating between employees and no um, fraternizing with coworkers outside of work, basically, down and dirty of that. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I think it's because it has stemmed from past energy of a masculine energy, putting a feminine energy in a false marriage in the past. Um, and I heard he stole money from her. He has stole money from her. And um, and I think that is what's caused this for one healthcare company. I heard one healthcare company's already done it. Another one's about to do it soon. So it may be one she works at. It may be one he works at. I'm not sure, but we've pointed a masculine energy heavy in here that put a feminine energy in a false marriage and the fr no fraternization policy. Um and a very, 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 very important person about to get wind of this. And I heard through many series of chain events, he's about to go to prison. Um, I heard prison. I heard prison. So, I mean, and he should go to prison. He should. Anybody puts anybody in false marriage and they, anybody steals from anybody, they should go to prison. And I, I mean, if it's a large amount of money. And that's just the truth. Um, but especially if you put somebody in false marriage. And that's just the truth. I mean, it's, these two people are very significant in this no fraternization policy. And it's not her because I heard he put her in the false marriage. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's about to cause an uproar in the people in this um, current healthcare company that's about to have this no fraternization policy instituted. So I think the current healthcare company that is about to institute this no fraternization policy, one's already done it. I think he probably works there or did work there or she worked there or does work there. Um, I think it's probably him um, because he put her in the false marriage. But the one upcoming one that's about to institute it as well, I heard it's about to create an uproar in the current employees. So I think they all hang outside of work together or most of them all hang outside work together or they date inside the workplace or a combination of both. But if they want to keep their job, they're going to have to abide by the rules. And trust me, it can be done. When I worked at the jail, it was like that. And like I said, there was many, many, many people up in that jail for that same exact company that did not abide by that um, policy. Um, but I did. I did. Because I believe in it. Um, plus, I didn't want dating those people anyways who worked at jail. And that's just a damn truth. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Many, 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 many feminine energies have thrown themselves at this masculine energy in the past because it's stolen money from this feminine energy. However, through many series of chain events, he will end up in prison and the money will be, will be stopped. Very, 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 very minimal child support. There will be huge changes here. It's going to piss off these feminine energies in huge ways. Some already have children by him. Some are currently pregnant by him. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is a busy bee man, I'll tell you that. Um, he sounds like he um, he's a busy, sexually busy bee person. I'll tell you that. Um, he's a criminal is what he is. I don't know what else to say about this person. I mean, I'm serious. This is a terrible person. He's a terrible person. Um, why you would put somebody in, well, you put somebody in false marriage for money. Um, you abuse them and they don't even know you did or they're highly intuitive and nobody's told them in the universe and basically just let them get away. Let them get away with it. Um, that's pretty crazy. 
and um and uh <laughs> he stole from her he put her in a fucking false marriage and now all of a sudden um he's got he, i heard he's got people pregnant and he's receiving all this money right now but he will end up in prison soon through many series of chain of events i think you very 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 high person is about to find out about this and you're about to create these series of chain of events um and um i heard the money's gonna stop the money's gonna stop and it'll be minimal child support so it's gonna piss up all these piss off all these feminine energies that basically threw themselves at him because he was basically riding off her coattails he was stealing money from her and put her in a false marriage all because of the money um probably because they wanted a lot of child support but negative karma is gonna energetically boom around around for their ass because they're going to get minimal child support when his ass is in prison and they'll have to explain to their kids why he's in prison i mean was it really worth it if you're the feminine energy that threw yourself at him and created a child by him or is currently pregnant by him i just want to ask the question burning questions here was it really worth it just asking just asking i mean i'm serious so you plug it in how it resonates and aries is getting a huge 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 ass wake up call huge okay i heard aries is getting a huge 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 ass wake up call huge so you plug it in how it resonates and a libra and a leo okay i heard of aries a leo and a libra is getting a huge ass wake up call huge so you could be have aries leo or libra in your sun moon rising venus or feminine hammer jupiter charts if that resonates for you aries leo or libra but at least three people in the universe aries leo or libra they could have aries leo or libra in their sun moon rising venus or feminine hammer jupiter charts you're getting who who just wake up wake up call about something so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you aries leo or libra just saying, just saying. All right, let's pull some cards. Some serious truth is about to be exposed very soon and very publicly. And some serious messages to people. Soon and quickly. Okay, I heard some serious truths about to be exposed very soon and very publicly. So very publicly and some serious messages to people are about to be sent soon, very soon and very quickly. So it sounds like private energy and public energy. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, um, whoever you are and how that resonates. Um, but you know, he shouldn't have put her in a false marriage. He shouldn't have stole money and uh, he deserves to be in prison. Um, I'm serious. He deserves to fucking be in prison. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, whoever's viewing this video, imagine if it was you he put in a false marriage. Maybe for some it is you he put in a false marriage. But imagine if it was you. You have to put you have to have empathy and sympathy for a situation. Imagine if it was you. And whoever this is resonating with, many, 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 many people have been hiding it from this feminine energy, but it's not hidden anymore. Many people are about to be severely mortified very publicly, very soon. Oh, my Lord. This is terrible. I heard basically a ton of people have been intentionally hiding it from the feminine energy. So from the feminine, fem, from the fem energy, he put in the false marriage. Many people know about this, apparently. Um, but they've been hiding it intentionally from her. Um, but I heard it's not hidden anymore. And many people are about to be very publicly embarrassed, basically. Confirmation from Fat Boy. Come on. Come on, Fat Boy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's their karma. They should have done the right thing, but they chose not to. So now they're about to get very publicly embarrassed. Um, and I heard publicly embarrassed. It's not private embarrassment. It's public embarrassment in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in, how that resonates. I don't know if this is public embarrassment. We're he pulling heavy workspace energy. So I don't know if it's in a workspace, if it's in a park, if it's in Walmart, if it's in a gas station, I'm not sure, but some kind of public embarrassment, heavy public embarrassment energy, it sounds like coming very soon for a lot of people. And um, they were trying to hide it from this fem energy, but it's not being, it's not hit anymore. So the cat's out of the bag. She knows about it now. They thought it was hidden from her. So you plug it in how it resonates. 
Journey reverse, completions of cycles, 10. Um, completion of cycle, I feel, is the no fraternization policy already in a current healthcare company. And one coming very, very soon for another healthcare company, which is about to shake up a lot of people's lives because I feel they like to hang out with their friendsies outside of work or they like to date inside their workplace. Nay, nay, I hate that shit. So completions of cycle. Journey reversed. Um, I feel this is stuck stagnant energy for the people currently in the current healthcare company because I think they like to hang out with their friends outside of work or they like to date inside the work workplace, but now they can't. And upcoming stuck stagnant energy for this very large, they're both large healthcare companies. The current upcoming current um, healthcare company that's about to institute the no fraternization policy. It's about to affect a ton of people. It's already affected a ton of people in this current large healthcare company, it's about to affect more. So stuckness, stagnant energy for the people who like to hang outside with their frenzies, outside of work with their frenzies, and um, like to date inside the workplace. Stuck, stagnant energy, and I also feel this is the prison energy for the masculine energy that put a them energy in a false marriage. Journey reverse. Stuck energy. But I feel it's dual energy. I feel it's dual. Stuck stagnant for the people in the current healthcare company with the no fraternization policy and the upcoming large healthcare company that's about to institute it. Um, it's about to affect, it's already affected a ton of people. It's about to affect a ton more people, basically. And stuck stagnant energy for really single person, but has, it sounds like he's told people he's in this um, false marriage. People know he's in the false marriage. They know he's not really married. But yet they don't want to tell the feminine energy that's in a false marriage because it benefits them in some shape, form, or fashion. But it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge ass way. Huge ass way. I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge, huge way. Huge ass way. We got concerned. Yeah, these people are concerned, or they're about to be concerned with the coffin card because it's about to come to an end. It's already come to an end in one very large healthcare company. It's about to come to an end in another very large healthcare company. For some, they could be uh, this person that could have put somebody in a false marriage could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in the chart, or she could have Scorpio in her chart or be a Scorpio. Because a uh, coffin card is death card energy, which is Scorpio energy, or not. If it is or isn't, if these people have Scorpio in their chart or not, they can have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femin, Haven, or Jupiter charts. However, that resonates, if that resonates. Number 33 or 19 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 33 or 19, it could be possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 33 or 19. Concern. A Leo is about to out a Scorpio and a Gemini in a huge, huge, huge way. For some, for some, a Capricorn is about to out a Gemini and a uh, Scorpio in a huge, huge, huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy shit. Um, for some, a Leo is about to out a Gemini and a Scorpio in a huge ass way. And for some, a Capricorn is about to out a Gemini and a Scorpio in a huge way. So I think this um, Leo and this um, Gemini, I'm sorry, Leo and this Capricorn are concerned about this. Um, they're either in the, I feel this Leo and this Capricorn are currently in the healthcare company that has the fr no fraternization policy. Or they're in the one upcoming one that's about to institute the no fraternization policy. How would that apply? How that applies? Leo and Capricorn energy. They could have Leo or Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. How would that applies? And Air Sun Masculine is getting a huge ass wake up call. Huge ass wake up call. And a Cancer. It's about to make this air sign masculine and his cancer do something they never thought they were going to do. The energy is about to completely shift and they know it. Okay, I heard an air sign masculine and a cancer is getting huge ass wake up calls. Um, and it's about to make them do something they never thought they would do because they know the energy is about to shift. So um, I, they either feel the energy shifting now or they're about to feel the energy shifting. 
this cancer, masculine or femme cancer. They have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, and Hannah, Jupiter charts. And an air sign masculine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, and Hannah, Jupiter charts. However, that resonates. But they either, this air sign masculine or this cancer either already feels the energy shifting or they're about to feel the energy shift. And I heard it's going to cause them to do something they never thought they would do. So you plug it in, however that resonates, uh, they're concerned about something. They're concerned about something. So is this Leo and this Capricorn. There's huge ass changes that's already occurred in the universe and more that is about to occur. I mean, I heard very large healthcare companies. So, I mean, I'm talking, I'm feeling millions of people affected here. Millions. All because of this asshole that put, I mean, probably not all because of this asshole that put a feminine energy in a false marriage, but probably mostly because of it. And I'm serious because that is like, who does that in the universe? Nobody. That's the damn truth. I, and who would appreciate that being done to? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's a huge ass thing. It's so much so, it sounds like the feminine energies community has strategically been hiding it from her. But through series of chain events, she's about, she's about to find out very, 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 very quickly, very quickly. Okay, I heard she's about to find out very, very, very quickly, very quickly. I mean, we have people concerned in here all over the board. We had a, we have an Aries with a huge ass wake up call. I think they're concerned. We have a Leo about to betray a Scorpio and a Gemini. They're concerned. We have a um, the Aries. I didn't hear if the Aries was going to betray anybody, but the Aries is definitely concerned. I'm feeling. We have a, a, a Capricorn about to um, betray. Uh, uh, a Gemini and a um, Scorpio. We have an air sign masculine and a Cancer about to do something they never thought they would do because they either feel the energy already shifting or they're about to feel the energy shifting. And we have coffin card. So endings of cycles, completions of cycles. Um, they were trying to keep it from this feminine energy about this um, false marriage, but I heard it's about to get out to her very, very, very soon. Um, it sounds like through series of chain events. So I think that's why this air sign masculine's cancer is about to do something they never thought they would do. Um, and it's probably because of no fraternization policies that's already been instituted and in some and in one very large healthcare company and one that's about to be. Um, but it's sad it's taken this kind of shit to make people do the right thing. And that's just the damn truth. I heard he's going to end up in prison. And he should. For a very, very, very long time. A very long ass time. For a very, very, very long time. For a very long guy's time. So, you know, he's out there making all these babies out in the universe now. Some he's already created. Some he's creating. Um, he obviously has a sex addiction. And I think he likes to date inside his workplace. Or used to like to date inside his workplace. And hang out with people inside his workplace. He either can't do that anymore. Or he's about not to be able to do that anymore. How that resonates in one's life. You plug it in how it resonates. Ending coming to that shit. An ending's coming to that shit. The no fraternization policy in one healthcare company is already in full effect. One's about to come in full effect, baby. It's about to put an ending to a lot of people's frenzy relationships outside of work, basically. And endings to a lot of um, dating inside of workplaces. And like I said, I don't believe in that shit. I do not believe in it. Period. Point blank. Bar none. Period. Anybody that knows me knows that. And it's the truth because it creates too much damn drama. Like, and the, when I worked at the jail um, in 2019, of course, it's been a while. Uh, 19 to 20 is when I worked at the jail. Uh, October of 2019 to March of 2021. But when I worked at the jail, which was the um, Madison County Detention Center here in Huntsville, Alabama, through a uh, healthcare contract, a healthcare company here in Huntsville, um, I was very open about it, very open. People talked to me about it, and I told them I thought it was a great idea. Um, and they didn't like that because when, after they got off work, they went they went out with drinks with their buddy pals. They went out, um, and they were dating inside the workplace. A lot of them dated inside the workplace. A lot of the nurses dated the, um, the uh, officers inside the jail. And this contract clearly states when you I, I hired it as a nurse in that contracting company it clearly states you cannot date inside any officers or any staff inside that jail and i didn't but so many people did and they didn't like 
that I agreed with it because they were doing it. They were breaking the rules and they knew they were. So, you know, but that's them. That's them that did that. You know what I'm saying? So you plug it in how it resonates. It is what it is. A Capricorn is getting such, 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 such a huge wake up call. Such a huge wake up call. And a Cancer and an air sign, masculine. And an Aries. Oh my Lord. Can uh, Capricorn and Aries, a uh, air sign, masculine, and um, a Cancer is getting such a huge wake up call. Such a huge wake up call. Whatever you're getting a huge wake up call about, um, cats or. Aries or <laughs> whoever you guys are. There was a lot of signs. So whoever you are, you're getting, I mean, that's double confirmation in this reading, huge ass wake up calls, but I'm serious. Um, I'm serious about that. I'm serious as a heart attack about that. Um, not a little heart attack. Only about having a heart attack, but I'm serious. I'm serious. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm going to get one energy. The cat's about to seriously be out of the bag in a very public way, in a huge way. Okay, I heard the cat's about to be out of the bag in a very serious way, a very public, serious, huge way. So some kind of cat out of the bag energy. Um, I think the release of this no fraternization policy in this, health, this very large healthcare company upcoming. And for some that didn't know in this previous very large healthcare company, the no fraternization policy has already been instituted. But I think it's because of this crazy asshole that put a feminine energy in a false marriage because there's a reason we're pulling that in. I mean, he's affected the universe and other people in huge ass negative ways. I mean, I'm serious. You want to affect the world and change, make it positive changes in a positive way. This asshole changes it in horrible ways. And I'm serious. Um, we have victory on the bottom of the deck. Number 28 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 28, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number 28, victory. A Virgo is about to go to authorities. Oh my God, I heard a Virgo is about to go to authorities. You plug it in, how it resonates. And one particular Gemini. I heard a Virgo and one particular Gemini is about to go to authorities. We have a lot of Gemini energy in here, a lot of signs in here, a lot of wake up call energy. I heard a Virgo and one particular Gemini is about to go to authorities. So whoever you are, only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug yourself in these, this story and this reading, however you plug, uh, plug in, if that resonates with you, you guys. Um, but at least one Virgo in the universe and one Gemini in the universe. It could be masculine or fem Virgo, masculine or fem Gemini. They could have Virgo or Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem and him and Jupiter charts. But I heard they're about to go to authority soon. Whoever this Virgo and Gemini are. They could have Virgo or Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem and him and Jupiter charts. I feel it could be masculine or fem, Virgo or Gemini. Only you know your story, not anybody else, so ma'am, Virgo or Gemini, about to go to authorities. Uh, I think it's because of this false ass marriage. That's exactly what I think. But you plug it in, however, that resonates, if that resonates for you. Virgo or Gemini. And this huge ass mess, this masculine energy, I didn't hear a sign on the masculine en energy that pissed me in a false marriage. He has created in the fucking universe. And I'm serious. Victory. A feminine energy is about to have a huge, 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 huge victory. The one that was put in a false marriage through many shocking series of chain events. Her business, businesses are about to skyrocket. And she will be a very wealthy woman very soon through many shocking series of chain of events. Oh, my Lord. Okay, well, that's good. So the feminine energy that was put in a false marriage, I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, she's about to be a very wealthy woman. I heard her businesses are about to skyrocket. So I think she works in healthcare as well because there's, I mean, Somehow she connected with this masculine energy that works at a healthcare company as well in the past. So I think they both worked at the same healthcare company in the past. And I feel she moved on and he tried to latch on to her ass so much so he put her in a false marriage 
but yet he doesn't want to be in a marriage because obviously he likes the single life spreading his farm all over the fucking universe. You know what I'm saying? So it was obviously about money, obviously, but it's about to backfire on him. He's about to end up in prison, but she has she has two plus businesses in the universe, whoever she is. But I also feel she works in healthcare too. Whoever she is and how she applies in your life. Um, but I heard her businesses are about to skyrocket. So her businesses are about to go up. Two or two plus businesses in the universe. However she applies, they're about to tank up. They're about to tank up in a very positive way. So it's about to give her revenue, income. And um, in the past, maybe she was struggling financially. Um, and it sounds like now it's not going to be the case. Um, and through shocking series of chain events, she's about to be a very wealthy woman very soon. So however, she's about to become a very wealthy woman very soon. I'm not sure. I didn't hear that specifically in here, but I think part of her businesses, two or two plus businesses skyrocketing and tanking up soon. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to energetically in the universe. Her businesses skyrocketing up is about to help the wealth increase, but it sounds like something else about to help the wealth increase as well whatever it is, excuse me, and however it applies in one's life, she's about to get victory in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and that could be the ending to this. I mean, he's obviously a fraud. He's a fraud, a crook, a thief, and a sperm splayer all over the damn universe. I would be so embarrassed to have a child by him. And I'm serious. And I'd be, I mean, these women, I heard they're throwing them. They've been throwing themselves at him. They, I mean, I think it's because of money. But the thing is, is, like I said, I heard the money's about to end and he has about to be in prison. Um, so was it really worth it, feminine energy that threw yourself at him? Was it really worth it? Because money train's about to end for you guys. Um, I'm serious. I heard minimal child support. So, I mean, you're not only you're going to have to explain to your child, I don't know how old your child or children are by this sperm splayer, but um, you're going to have to explain to them why your their daddy's in prison and you're going to, I heard you're going to get minimal child support. So, I mean, was it, I'm just asking the burning questions here. Was it really worth it? Doesn't sound like it to me, but of course I'm not the one throwing myself at some crazy fraud ass thief crook either. Yikes. But I heard she's about to get victory. She's about to get victory. I think the very, 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 very important person, whoever you are, very, 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 very important person is about to help this feminine energy get victory. She's about to get victory in her businesses, two plus businesses, and it's some of, something else that's about to create victory for her too. Um, and I feel it's financially, or for some it may be possibly legally as well. You plug it in how it resonates. Withholding information in the past is about to seriously, seriously, seriously backfire on a lot of people in a huge way. Okay, I heard withholding information is about to seriously, seriously backfire on a lot of people um, in a huge way. Withholding information in the past. So somebody withheld information, I think, from this feminine energy, because she's very integral in here. And so is this fraud-ass thief sperm slayer and the fraternization policies of these healthcare companies, very large healthcare companies. This is all, all this is significant, but um, yeah, um, I heard withholding Information of the past is about to seriously backfire on a lot of people in a huge way. So I feel for some of you guys, you of course you have to plug yourself in where you fit, but I feel for some of you guys, you're about to call these assholes out, these people out that basically withhold it, withheld this information from this feminine energy is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. You're about to call their asses out. I don't feel, I mean, of course there's, it's one feminine energy in the universe, but I feel you might be connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. And that could be your victory about to call these ass whites out because they intentionally withheld information from her. But now companies, it's so bad, large healthcare companies are instituting no fraternization policies because of this incident of the past in the, in the energetic space. I mean, that's pretty damn crazy. Um, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, you wanna affect the universe in a positive way, not a negative way. And this sperm, sperm, sperm player has done nothing but affected in a negative way whoever he is and however he applies. I'm serious. A particular younger feminine energy is about to shock the hell out of everybody and just quit her job. Healthcare company. She is about to be so mortified. 
Oh, my Lord. I heard a particular younger feminine energy is about to shock the hell out of everybody and just up and quit her job. Um, she's about to shock the hell out of everybody. And that could be the, I think she's about to get victory. She's mortified in this. I think she is connected to this masculine sperms player in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling. Um, that's embarrassing in itself. She's a younger feminine energy. Now, younger in the tarot, I deem as 35 or below, even though it's technically 18 to 25. You know, there's that gray area. So I say 35 or below. So I think she's 35 or below. She's a feminine energy. She has femme parts. Um, and she, I heard she's just about to up and quit her job. She's just, I, I feel she might no call, no show and just not show up. I didn't hear that part, but that's what I'm feeling. I heard she's just about to up and quit her job. So I think she's just not going to go in. She's going to no call, no show and just not go in. I heard she's about, she's so mortified over the situation. Um, just going to move on. So embarrassed. Okay. I heard just going to move on. So embarrassed. So she's just going to move on. She's so embarrassed. So I think she's connected to sperm player by guy. I think she's 35 or below. She's a feminine energy. Um, she could be pregnant by him, have his child already, or be a family member of his, or she could have fried rise with him outside of work, however that resonates. But somehow I feel she's connected to him. Um, and she, I heard she's just about to up and quit her job uh, and move on. So she, uh, she's going to have a victory in this um, because she's mortified. She's concerned and mortified of this shit. And yeah, I, I would be too. This is terrible. I mean, people don't understand how negatively they affect the universe when they get into shit like this. And I'm serious about that. I just want to give everybody some food for thought. People do not understand the negative aspects they create into the universe when they don't do the right thing. And this is a huge ass example of it. And I'm serious about that. I feel someone might need to hear this out in the universe. And I'm serious about that. I mean, we have almost, we have what, um, almost 12,400 of you guys on here. I feel so, at least one person in the universe needs to hear this that's connected to the shit. Because this is affecting a shit ton of people, all because of a sperm player, masculine energy, and a crazy ass community that wanted to hide a false marriage from a femme energy. I don't think it's all because of that, but a lot of it is because of that. And I'm serious. A very high vibrational air sign feminine is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard it. Very high vibrational air sign feminine is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge ass wake-up call. So, a very high vibrational air sign femme. I'm pulling you in too. My goodness, we're 37 minutes. Heard you're getting a huge wake-up call too. I mean, I'm serious, you guys. I'm serious. You can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, and Jupiter charts, ma'am. I heard you're a very high vibrational air sign fam. <coughs> I, feel, I feel you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, and integrity. You're a very high vibrational air sign fam. Older air sign feminine. Older air sign fam. So if you're 35 or, or above, if you're 35 or above, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very high vibrational. Um, I heard you're getting a huge wake up call too. Um, maybe it's because of this mess. This is a hot mess express, but it's because these people have chose in this community to not do the right thing. And they're allowing the sperm player to act, you know, do whatever the hell he wants to do on some other feminine energy's money, basically. Um, it, it, this is terrible. This is terrible is what this is. Um, and she might be living in poverty or has had to live in poverty because of this asshole, because she doesn't even know she's in the uh, marriage because it's a false marriage. I heard it's a false marriage. I mean, so she's had to pick herself up by her own bootstraps and God knows how many times in the past she's had to pick her up. So her own self up by her bootstraps. She sure as hell hasn't had any help from him because she doesn't even know she's in the fucking false marriage with him because it is a false marriage. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean. Little food for thought if anybody needs to hear that. Many, 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 many events are about to be created in the spiritual realm very soon. Many. People in this community, many people in this community have been watching readings ever since this feminine energy that was put in a false marriage has become spiritual. But they are going to really regret watching readings soon. Some people are going to get so, so, so triggered 
They're about to lash out at other people very publicly in public soon in this community. Oh my gosh, this is so juicy. Holy God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So the spiritual community is about to get involved too. Heard many, many, a ton, shit ton of, somebody is getting a huge ass wake up call in this community. Huge. Oh my God. Whoa, you guys, the energy in here is just crazy. Heard someone is getting a huge ass wake up call in this community. So in this toxic ass community, one of you guys is getting a huge ass wake up call in this community, but the spiritual community is about to get involved. Now the feminine energy that's put in a false marriage, she's very spiritual. I heard basically a shit ton of people in this toxic ass community that's basically hid the shit from her has become very spiritual and why has been watching tarot card readings because of her when she became spiritual. So somehow they've been watching her. Uh, they won't tell her the truth, but yet they like watching her in some shape, form, or fashion. That's some screwed up shit if I've ever heard it. And I'm serious about that. They can't be real with her in 3D face to face time, but yet they like watching her or stalking her or voyeuring her or what have you. I didn't hear voyeuring or anything like that in here, but somehow they're watching her, but yet they don't want to be real with her in 3D face to face time. That's some screwed up shit. And I'm just being real with everybody. Hashtag real talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, I heard many of them have become spiritual because of her, because of them watching her, but yet they didn't want to be real with her and tell the truth. What? But I heard it's about to backfire on them. This toxic ass community is about to backfire on them because the spiritual community is about to get involved and create many series of shame events. I heard the people in this toxic ass community is not going to like basically what the spiritual community is about to say. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, well. I feel for a lot of these toxic ass people, um, I feel she might be a reader. I feel she might be a reader. Possibly. I didn't hear she was, but I feel she might be. Um, possibly. But if she is or isn't, they have become spiritual because of her. But yet they won't give her the credit. Of course. Of course not. Of course not. But I feel they go to other readers is what I'm saying. And a lot of readers watch y'all are subbies in my channel. So I know you're going to get this message. Um, but or a lot of you guys will if you watch this video. But my point is, is you guys are about to create negative series of chain events, spiritual community, readers, because this resonates for you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You're about to create negative series as chain events for this toxic ass community. I think they've been going to you guys for personal readings and for readings because they get triggered by her <laughs> because they know they haven't done the right thing by her, basically. But you guys are about to be like white on fucking rice to them. And I heard it's about to trigger them so bad that they are about to start creating negative series of chain of events for other people in their community. Because of you guys, is I feel your readings. And I didn't hear it was going to be your readings, but some kind of negative series of chain of events you're about to create for them. So I think it's you're about to either give them a personal reading and tell them how it fucking is, or you're about to create public collective readings and it's about to trigger them so damn bad that they're about to basically unleash on other people in their community. How that resonates in one's life. But spiritual community, I feel you're about to get victory in this. I feel you're about to get damn victory in this. Huge victory coming for the spiritual community in a huge way. Huge. About to trigger these assholes in such a huge way. But they deserve it. And you know it. Oh my lord. Wow, the gloves are damn off, you guys. I heard you're about to get a huge ass victory, spiritual community. You're about to get a huge ass victory. You're about to trigger these assholes in huge ways, but in all fairness, you know they deserve it. So you're about to get a victory, um, spiritual community, spir a light side spiritualist, readers, um, whatever you call yourself, psychic mediums, etc., etc., etc. You're about to get a huge victory because you're about to trigger these assholes, but I think you're about to tell them how it is, whether it's in a collective reading or in a personal reading. However that applies in one's life, only you know your story, not anybody else. Light side spiritualist. And only you know what you're about to do in the universe. Okay? Not anybody else. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, man. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. And that's just freaking truth. All right, you guys. Well, we're done. Let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap, man. Okay, I didn't. All right, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Someone is about to find out they're pregnant by this asshole soon. And someone that watches this reading is connected to this person. 
You are about to go to federal agents regarding the situation once you find out about this pregnancy. Holy shit. Oh, Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my God. So one of you guys that what is going to watch my reading, it sounds like, whoever you are and how this applies, you are connected to sperm splayer, masculine energy that put feminine energy, chickadoo, in a false marriage. You're connected to him in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're about to find out about someone he is impregnated. Um, it could be you he's impregnated or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's pregnant up in this bitch, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to from sperm splayer, dude. I heard you, once you find this out, whether you're physically pregnant or someone you're connected to is physically pregnant by sperm splayer, dude, you're about to go to federal agents. So whoever you are, I don't have the supplies. I feel it can go both ways. I feel either you are about to find out with like EB, uh, what is it? EPT or e EBT or, you know, the pregnancy test shit, um, the two lines you're pregnant energy if you are pregnant by him or it could be somebody you're connected to that's about to find out they're pregnant by him but whoever you are that's about to view this reading i feel this is confirmation for you because there's a reason i got this message in i heard you once you find out you're either pregnant by him with the two lines you're pregnant or someone you're connected to with the two lines they're pregnant you person that's viewing this reading that's connected to this pregnancy either you're physically pregnant by him or somebody you're connected to is pregnant by him you're about to go to a federal agents regarding this so you plug it in how it resonates this is a hot ass mess express if i've ever heard it and i'm serious but it's all because the toxic ass community allowed this and i'm serious all right i love you guys so much everybody make wonderful choices and i'm staying